Hi, everybody. My name is Brian Casillanos. I am a second term member of the Lynn School Committee. I am a proud first generation Venezuelan Latino. I am a product of the Lynn Public Schools system. I graduated from Lynn English High School back in 2009. I attended undergrad at Framingham State University, where I studied criminology and criminal justice law and received a BA in, in criminology. I later earned a master's of science graduate degree in criminal justice with a focus in administration from San State University. Uh, both uh, experiences in college, I maintained above a 3.7 GPA. Uh, I have dedicated my life's work towards protecting children from child abuse and neglect at the local, state, and federal level. I have championed and advocated for child victims throughout my career in public service with passion and integrity. I was most recently appointed to serve on the Department of Children and Families Northern Regional Missing or Absent Task Force. This new position has provided me with the opportunity to join the fight against the commercial sexual exploitation of children. Prior to my newly assigned position, I served as a licensed adolescent social worker for the Massachusetts Department of Children and Families in Lynn. Some of the other public service hats I've worn consist of me working as a substance abuse clinician for the Middlesex Sheriff's Office, where I work to reduce drug addiction and recidivism through community-based corrections and delivering 21st century substance abuse treatment programming. I later worked as a master level mobile crisis clinician and intensive care coordinator for Wayside Youth and Families. There I would advocate and work with families whose children have been tremendously affected by mental health illnesses. My desire to help others stems from a tough upbringing. I faced housing insecurities, food insecurities, and the abandonment of my mother who battled mental illness and drug addiction. At the, at the age of 14, I would say I was a parentified youth and a youth at risk. So I know firsthand how important the issues our students, families, and staff face on the daily. I currently serve on the Leap for Education Board of Directors where I strive to assure equity and access to quality academic, college, and career services for underserved youth. I was part of the development and implementation of the Dream More program over at Third Grade Marshall. The Dream More after school program was recognized recently as a 21st century after school program. We recently successfully secured over $300,000 in grant funding to ensure that we maintain sustainable growth and make sure these type of programs are running effectively and efficiently as possible to serve our students and our staff. I also, I want to talk about some of my volunteering experiences. I volunteered my time and, and serve as a steering board director for the Link Community Connections Coalition in Lynn, Mass. In this role, I work to th strengthen family support systems in neighborhoods throughout the city of Lynn by connecting them to both formal and informal resources. I also had opportunities to serve at both the Salem State University's Alumni Association and Framingham State University Alumni Association Board of Directors. During those years, I was committed to working on the Alumni Association Strategic Planning Committee and Civic Engagement and Student Outreach Committee. Improving the, the school district that has given me so much drove me to run for the Lynch School Committee back in 2017. I was elected as the second Latino to ever hold a Lynch School Committee position for the city of Lynn, a first generation low income kid. During my time on the school committee, I have made it my obligation and duty to strongly advocate for our, our most underserved uh, students and families throughout Lynn Public Schools. I have fought and made efforts to provide our youth with academic and vocational career pathways in Lynn that will help in their transition into the 21st century workforce. I have worked rigorously the past four years to advocate and ensure we are strategically investing in creating a school environment that is trauma-informed and inclusive. Improving our social emotional learning capabilities and being able to address the inequities our students and families will be a focus area for my campaign this time around. We need to make sure to address the mental health concerns our students, families, and staff face in Lynn Public Schools. During, during and post pandemic, it was my, also my obligation to make sure that our staff, students, and families have the adequate resources to thrive and get through these times. I made myself accessible through social media, uh, telephone, email. I was, I was determined to make sure we kept communication alive um, and, and that government works for you, um, especially when, in a time where everyone needed to hear from their elected officials. I also wanna mention uh, just a quick um, overview of, of two big uh, campaigns that I 
uh, that we just finished up. It was a virtual marathon. It was I, we developed a student driven marathon scholarship program where we raised over seventeen thousand dollars in senior scholarships. This need came about during the pandemic. This was a, a call in upon myself from a, a group of seniors who reached out to me when they were broken by the pandemic's um, wrath, which I naturally throughout my tenure on the school committee, I have utilized student voice in my policy decision-making. And it is important as an elected official to ensure that we consistently activate and include, we, that we include youth voices in city and state decision-making policies. Our students, parents and teachers will have a seat at the table. Your priorities are my priorities. With the many same lived experiences as countless disadvantaged students, I have been a frequent uh, motivational speaker at schools and youth organizations. I am a leader that represents hope, and my story is of resilience as someone who confronted the odds and battled through many hardships to be where I am today. I am someone who will work tirelessly, end of the night, doesn't matter what time. I will get the job done, and I will do it respectfully. And I all I ask um, this campaign season, I love my job. I love being able to give back at this capacity. I respectfully ask uh, everyone out there, please consider me for one of your six votes. And if you would like to learn more about my campaign, you can reach me directly at 781-346-2087 uh, or by email. It's on the it's on the city website, but it's bcastellanos4417 at gmail.com. Um, I'm on Facebook or on Instagram. Whatever way uh, you want to reach me, I am available and I'm here to serve you. Thank you.